Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is Julie of Julie's Plans. Thank you so much for joining me today. In today's video, I'm going to be planning out the week of January 6th through January 12th. And I feel like it's the week where we kind of get back to normal. Like our son goes back to school. It's going to be a regular work week, minus the fact that I'm off on Friday because I'll be attending an event in Florida. But I feel like it's, yeah, we're gonna start getting back to normal without these holidays smack dab in the middle of the week, creating two Mondays and a whole lot of chaos. So let's look at last week. I know that it's gonna look a little bit weird because last week's plan with me was in a vertical. So instead of moving all the stickers over, I actually had two New Year's kits, one from Planner Kate, one from Chrissy and Designs. So I just put the Chrissy and Designs kit in here and it's basically the same stuff just a different kit because I am back in my hourly where I feel like I belong and I'm so happy to just, yeah, to just be in this planner because it just felt right. So I have a couple of things that I need to add and let me grab my pen or a pen, a marker, something. I forgot to write in here that I had gone to Target. Right before that, I got a speeding ticket, but I didn't feel the need to um, put that in my planner. I'm still bitter. <laughs> And I don't actually know if I'm gonna fill in that list there because everything is kind of like come and gone. I'm actually filming this on Sunday, so I will probably add some things here. I actually put away Christmas on Friday instead of today because it was really hard to move things around with furniture and things like that and have Christmas there. So some things got switched around, but I'm just gonna leave it as is. So. Anyway, let's get started with planning this week. So this week I'm using a Planner Kate kit and it is kit 201. I do have the sampler sheet here along with their new hourly add-on. I love this, you can actually use the checklist. I don't know how much of the checklist I will use, but I love the fact that you get this many event labels and appointment labels, the quarter boxes, all of that. I absolutely love them, so I thought this was really, really good. And of course, I got my date cover, so I'm gonna go ahead and set up my frame for the week. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it for that. Um, last week in last week's plan with me, I used these little asterisks to cover up the little hexagons across the bottom, and I think I'm just gonna do the same there. They really do cover them up quite perfectly, so if they don't match your week, then you can um, use these on Planner Kate's kits, which I think is really, really awesome. So one of the big questions that I got asked um, when I mentioned that I was just gonna stay with the hourly is what was I going to do with the vertical planner that I had tried and one of my daughter's friends at work really wants an Erin Condren life planner and they really can be quite pricey. Um, I, as far as planner goes, I think that they are, you know, one of the higher and paper planners, it's on a spiral, so I was like, she can just have that one. I have no need to just keep it on my shelf, and I'd rather it go to someone that's actually gonna use it, so that is where that planner is going, and I am staying in my hourly. Okay, the sidebar situation is kind of where I'm like, I don't know what to do. Oh, and there was one more thing, because of course I'm getting sidetracked. This sheet only has this one strip of washi, but what I'm considering doing is taking my ruler and making it a thin piece of washi with um, this Fiskars um, cutting tool, whatever you wanna call it. It's like an X-Acto knife, but a little bit nicer. And I just wanna make sure that I'm getting it evenly. I'm probably not going to, <laughs> but it's worth a try. But I thought that I could just make 
my own washi strip and we will see if this even comes out straight or if I cut through the whole piece of paper. <laughs> Let's see. I thought that's the only way I'll get to use this is if I make it work. I mean, they're kind of the same. All right, let's see. And I kind of went back and forth as far as whether or not, okay, they're not perfectly even, but it's okay. I mean, you really have to like stare at it and see that they're not um, exact. Um, anyway, I used to put the weather up there, but I am loving tracking the weather in my daily petite planner in the hexagon that has really worked out this past week or the first week being in it um, because I don't, I just don't want to track the weather in two places. Like, I feel like that might be overkill. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to try it out for a few weeks, just doing it in the petite planner since that's what's actually with me day to day when I go to work and things like that. So yeah, I actually like the way that turned out. Not too bad. Okay. <laughs> All right, moving on. So let me get my sticker binder over here as well. I do want to track my workouts and things like that across the top. So I'm going to move some things over or down and out of the way. Let's move the workout sticker out of the way. I feel like a little discombobulated while I'm filming this and I don't know why, but um, anyway, I'm just trying to, I haven't actually filmed in like over a week because I batch film when there's holidays and things like that coming up. So there is that. So I think I want to do, I know that I want to work out four days a week. So I'm kind of looking at the stickers that there are at least four or five of, and these seem to really stand out to me. Five days would be great. So I do want to put those across the top. One of the biggest changes that I have made to my morning routine is working out in the morning as opposed to trying to fit it in the evening. And this past week was the first full week of me doing it and it's been really great. I had to, like, I normally don't use an alarm and I know that's probably weird for some people, but over the years with my alarm, I have just gotten so used to it that I, just would wake up like five, 10 minutes before the alarm would go off anyway. So my alarm is like on, but I don't really rely on it. It's kind of like a, a fail safe, like, okay, what if I don't wake up <laughs> on time or I just have a bad night of sleep? I ha at least have the alarm as a just in case kind of thing. So I'm gonna grab these workout stickers from Planner Kate as well to go on top of here. So back to the working out, I've really, really liked it. I feel like, no lie, it has really set the tone for my mood for the day. I feel a lot better, I feel less grouchy, I feel like when I go to work, I'm less like, you know, already dreading the day. I'm not, I have energy for the day, and it, it really has changed things. And it's not like this is something that I didn't know. It's not some, oh my God, working out in the morning is some new revelation. Not anything like that. <laughs> but it's something that I've known I've had to do, I just dreaded it. So for the first week, I switched my alarm from 4.20, 4.25 in the morning to four in the morning. And I kid you not, by day three, I had waken up at 3.55, which I know, again, that sounds really, really early, because it is, but it was great to see how easy I was able to adjust. Um, and of course, tomorrow being Monday might be a whole nother thing. I might have to start the cycle all over again until my body is truly used to it, but I have really enjoyed changing my workouts. It's It's been great, so that is definitely one habit that I hope I'm able to stick with for the rest of the year, or at least for the foreseeable foreseeable future, at least the first 90 days. I'd like to see how it works out for me and I'd like to see if I can actually make some changes to my health. So moving on, I want to put down the videos that are gonna go up this week, obviously starting with this plan with me. And then on Wednesday, I'm actually going to share my work planner. I'm really excited. I used it all last week. Well, starting on the first, I should say, because that's when my planner started for work was on the first and I really, really like it. So I really cannot wait to show you guys that. Um, 
that video. Let's see, 10 o'clock, yes, right here. Put that there, and yeah, so let me go ahead and write those videos in. Again, I need to remember <laughs> to write on this sticker before I put it near the coil. Ugh, it's fine. And then on Friday, we're going to do a daily petite planner plan with me. I want to make those more regular, but at the same time, I don't want so many of my videos to be all plan with me's, like all the time, if that makes sense. So I want to throw in some variety, but my goal is to share my plan with me and my daily petite planner at least twice a month. So, or yeah, that way it's every other week kind of thing, if that makes sense. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right, so on, I don't really have much going on on Monday. Let's see, on Tuesday, Nathan finally goes back to school. This kid has been out of school since like the middle, middle of December. <laughs> Longest winter break ever. All right, so there's that. And then on Tuesday, I have my usual work meeting and I'm just gonna grab my meeting stickers from Planner Kate. I really only have one meeting this week because I won't be at work for the Friday meeting. Thank goodness. So I think I will use, there's so many stickers. <laughs> there's a lot to choose from here, which is a good thing. So I'm gonna use this one right here. I was going to use a different kit because of the um, event that I'm going to in Florida is the Let's Flamingo event by the Sunshine State Planners and I thought, oh, I'll go for like a summer kit and I just wasn't feeling it. I was like, no, I wanted, I really wanted to use this kit because I can use pretty much the brighter summer kits pretty much any time of the year. We have a longer spring summer than most places so I have plenty of time to use those. I don't have plenty of time to use winter kids so that's what that's what I was going for here okay so on Wednesday we are going to do our normal laundry day I'm loving the amount of script stickers that have been added to the new kits here like love them so on yeah let's do this on Wednesday evening we're going to do ah here we go some laundry. I need to get more of these because I actually do laundry like three times a week, but different things. But anyway, we do our laundry, mine and my husband's laundry on Wednesdays. On Thursday, I am actually going to go to the grocery store for the kids because they're, they're going to need food. Um, <laughs> since both me and my husband will be gone. Let's see, I'm gonna go right after work, so we'll put it right about here, and just make sure that they have stuff for the weekend so that they don't have to worry about food, apparently, so. <laughs> All right, on Tuesday, I don't wanna forget, I'm going to edit Wednesday's video, so I'm gonna do some editing on that evening there. I, I'm loving these colors. It's like a taupe blush, kind of, I don't know. <laughs> So we're gonna do edit. And I'm wanting to use my, let's see, my Once More With Love, and actually I have two of these. You can get these at Michael's right now. Once More With Love has her collection there. I ordered mine online because I don't trust my Michael's to have anything that I need, ever. So <laughs> I ordered mine directly from the website and waited for them to get delivered, but it's great because I've been able to, um, not have to deal with the way the sheets were before when I had them kind of punched and on a ring, I still couldn't find things. And here I just kind of did everything by category again, but I, it actually consolidated a lot of things for me. So uh, yeah, really, really happy with this. And then I'm gonna do that again on Thursday night along with packing, yay. Although I might pack Friday morning because I don't leave until um, about noon-ish, maybe, because I it's a short drive for me. Well, what I consider a short drive, I should say. Okay, so there's that, and let's see. 
Oh, I think payday's this week as well. Let me look at last week. So payday is here on Wednesday. And I'm gonna use, there's so many event labels and I still haven't even used the ones on the other sheet. Not a lot of them anyway. Um, I'm gonna go with this plaid one. And we'll just put this right here. Kind of fits, barely. I kind of want to put it up there. Let's move it. I feel like I'm going back to my very uh, white space <laughs> planning days, which I love because it gives me room to add things if I need to. I don't know, you know, some days I want to like cover the entire page planner thing down with stickers and other days I'm like, I can't, I can't, that's too much. <laughs> All right, so let's do, I do need to do some packing or at least work on a packing list at some point, but I do want to start packing here on Thursday. Put that right about here and I think I might have a Once More With Love sticker for that as well. Let's see, yes, one that says pack. Although, will that look weird with the event label? Let's see. Um, let's do pack and then maybe a don't forget sticker with it to fill that space. Oh, perfect, okay, perfect. All right, awesome, okay. Moving on, let's take that pack sticker off because yeah, we're packing here and probably here, but whatever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Next up on Friday, I am driving to Florida about noon-ish, so let's see. I think I'm going to use this Off We Go sticker from Once More With Love, that way, since I am driving. I love events that I can drive to. I don't mind the events that I have to fly to, but it's even more awesome that I can drive because I don't have a packing limit. <laughs> So I have had some very stressful experiences um, with driving or flying with flying. I have had, um, I think on the way back to Vegas or the way back home from Vegas from Go Wild at the airport, I literally had to throw away some of my personal hygiene items because I was so like my bag was, I want to say three pounds over the limit. And I was like, I'm not going to throw away these <laughs> these stickers and this swag or you know gifts from people so I was like who needs hairspray and face wash <laughs> so I yeah threw away um a bunch of my my stuff you know because that's normal so <laughs> all right so we're gonna do drive to Florida here So there is that. Now I don't have, I have an itinerary of what's going on, but I know that there's stuff going on Friday night and Saturday, but I'm, I want to leave room for, um, a lot of times when you attend these events, you'll get stickers for the event and I don't have any ahead of time. So I'm just going to leave some of the things blank for now. So I am going to do a hotel check-in. I think I have one. Yes. Check-in right here. It's purple, but it's okay. It'll be fine. I don't mind that it's purple. Some of these are kind of hard to get off of this, which is good in a way, because I was always worried when you move stickers from the original sheet to something else that they're not gonna stick as well and they're gonna fall out of this book. But so far, so good. Um, I'm really, really liking them. So I think what I will use is, doo -doo -doo, maybe that one right here, because I should make it there by four. It's not a far drive for me. So we will check in there. And like I said, I'm just gonna leave Friday night and Saturday blank. And then let's look at Sunday is when I get to come home. Let's see. Uh, and we will use a checkout sticker for the hotel. I love these. They are still in her shop over at Once More With Love. I don't really know the name of the sheet. That's the only downside about taking your sheets a part is you don't have the name of the sheet anymore. And I'm pretty sure it's something like conference or meetup sheet, not anything complicated, I promise. So I will check out here. And I think checkout's like around 11, I'm not sure. And I'm not sure what I'm doing for breakfast that day either, but we will figure it out. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do a drive home sticker and probably something for unpacking later. Um, Some of these don't wanna stick now, that's weird, okay. 
I'll just keep pressing them down until they stick. <laughs> All right, we'll do unpack that one, and I think I'm gonna use this one again. Or maybe I wanna use the brown one. Let's do that. And that'll probably happen later on in the evening because I'll still need to do some other thing when I get home to get ready for the week. I'm just gonna put it right in the middle. And I really do wanna try some of the checklists on here. So let's see. Oh, there was even ones for the sidebar. I forgot about that. Okay. So when I get home, there are a few things that I'm gonna wanna get done. And I think I will just put it, oh, these are awesome. Oh my God. I have been living without a checklist <laughs> on my hourly since this planner came out and it has been horrible. So anyway, <laughs> that'll be for Sunday's list there. And who knows, I might even put a few like on Monday and Wednesday. Let's just go for it. I might be repeating some things that are in my hourly, but I are in my daily petite planner, but I really want to try these out and see how they work. Like there's really no other way to figure it out, right? Unless you try it. So that's what we're going to do. <laughs> we will see how that, and it's a nice space filler too. Hmm. Okay. Um, <laughs> Moving on, I did need to do my sidebar still, and let's see, I think we're gonna do this week. I'm gonna use this thinner flag right here. I'm just gonna offset it just a little bit, because that's how I like it. All right, let's see how this sidebar situation works, because they are different. So that's what made it really, really, I don't wanna say really difficult, that's really dramatic, but it just made it weird, you know. Weird and annoying. <laughs> oh, that is nice. Very, very nice. And I think I'm just going to continue all the way down and try to put it down straight, which is difficult. That looks so nice. Oh my God, that is awesome. So I do love that. So this extra add-on sheet does include a two strips for your sidebar and then um, three for the hourly, or actually no, seven. So you have one for each day. Um, I used three? Yes. <laughs> I don't even know what I've used. Oh my God. I need more coffee. Okay, let's look at this sheet because a lot of times I do rely on this for the things that I need to do, as crazy as that sounds. So I'm gonna use my day off sticker for Friday because I have that day off. No school here because that is the end of winter break that never ends. <laughs> and then I'm gonna put down, let's see. I really have no idea when I'm gonna film this weekend since I will be gone, but I'm gonna figure it out. I'm going to see if there's some downtime that I'll have and I will be filming from my hotel room possibly. So we will see. I just don't wanna put that down just yet. Trying to think of what else I need to do. I do want to clean up the house a little bit on Friday before I leave, so I'm gonna use this sticker and maybe layer it. Actually, I'm gonna layer it with this event label from this sheet, and I still have plenty of stickers left over. This is so, like, I really, really like this, the way the new sheets are. So yeah going to leave my kids with a clean house and hope and pray that when I come back, it is still clean. <laughs> so yeah, I really like the way this turned out. So I'm going to add our meals once we sit down and decide what it is we want to eat for this week. We haven't gotten that far just yet. So our meals are going to go down here. I'm really, really loving this. I'm loving that I stuck with the hourly, what I know works for me. So that is everything for this week's plan with me. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope that you will stick around and subscribe. If you haven't hit that subscribe button already, make sure you click that and the notification bell. I do post new videos every single week. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. I don't even know what I was gonna say next. Let's try that again. There's something under my nail. That's gross.